excited for this. Um, it just makes me feel like, though, like it's starting to become too tattooing centric, like these last few um, Star Wars shows. Like, you know, it's starting to revolve around tattooing too much for me. Like, I want to see Coruscant. I want to see Mandalore, maybe. But still, I'm excited for this. It it is Kenobi. Um, we get to see, you know, why Ben Kenobi aged so much in the span. Of life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? Stress really got to him. Yeah, we finally get to see what stressed him out so much that it aged him. So much. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I, if you look at Luke, he's on. He's on that. He's on that thing. Well, he's on that um, inside his house. He's only three or four years. So it looks like he's four or five, mm -hmm. and he doesn't leave until he's about twenty. So there's seventeen years between you and McGregor here and Alec McGuinness. So yeah. It's going to be interesting. But he looks at, I've noticed there's a little bit of wrinkles there in that close up. There's the, you can see him just, it's taking a toll on him, the old bean. He's, he's a little bit worse to wear. It, it must be the desert sun and the heat that's getting right. him off. He doesn't moisturize. He didn't, he didn't <laughs> moisturize, you know. The, uh, 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 the, whatever those things are, the furry things that have hoods, you know, they didn't sell him the good stuff. Jawas. The Jawas. The Jawas. The Jawas, they didn't sell them the good oh, stuff, you know. He oh, that's no, it. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, you it's know, it's kind of interesting. Go ahead, Jay. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I was, you know, it's it's watching that transition from from um uh from Hugh McGregor to Alec McGuinness and stuff like that, <laughs> but it does kind of remind you that we do know where this one will finish, like, we do know that Obi Wan is not going to be in any real mortal danger because we all know he pulls through and gets killed by Darth Vader. Um, so I guess somewhere in that first couple of episodes, they're going to have to put some stakes in the game to make something, someone who we're going to care for, um, who's where the outcome really is, you know, precarious. We don't know what's going to, it's going to happen to, to someone or something other than Kenobi because we all know he's, he's going to pull through. Um, yeah, you know, the thing is, I, I, one of my friends, he did a, he mentioned to me, he was like, look, it, 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 Kenobi obviously is a plan point, but I think this also intersects with the end of Solo, where we see uh, the Mafia Darth Maul pop up that we, we saw in Clone Wars, and he would have to be able to bring his stuff in. Um, and, and I guess there's a few other things. I, I'm really interested to see how they, they truly retcon this. Because this is this is what I'm I'm enjoying the most from these shows. How do you retcon uh, into your endpoint? Like, how yeah, talented yeah, yeah. can you be to make sure that you've created enough uh, plot pieces that not only is it going to add into the movies that we already know have been sufficed, but we're clearly trying to set up to go fix the other movies that have been. Uh, Incomplete to say the least, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. and to, to set this boundary up, um, yeah. and of course, you know, what they do with those those off brand stories. But you know, it, it's it's going to be interesting to see on, on how they do that. But I do agree with you, JP. I, I think we've gone from being Skywalker focused to just the Skywalker planet focused. Like, I didn't know Tatooine was was this eclectic. Like, it, it goes back to be like, is this really an outworld planet that nobody cares about? Because it seems like everybody cares about this place. Like, it <laughs> seems like it's the center of everything. It's like, New York, baby. It's New York. Right? Like, yo, we, we trying to play like this is, we trying to play like this is Salt Lake City, and in reality, this is L.A. <laughs> <laughs> More water than L.A., yeah. some people would think. <laughs> Um, yeah, that, that's the thing. It should be like an outer rim planet. It should be backwater, but for some reason, everything's happening right everything there. Happened. Yeah, it's I question all the stuff that happened on Naboo. 
Like all that Senate stuff, it, I now have, I now don't buy into it. It was like, nah, Nabu was not the center. Oh. Just that, all that, you know, that whole Nabu thing. Uh, <laughs> on the boo sucked because that whole thing. Uh, Nabu but, sucked. Yeah. But talking about retconning, that is the good thing about this this show. It potentially can give us the Obi Wan Kenobi, the Ewan McGregor Obi Wan Kenobi that we didn't get enough of in the first three ones because they were just yeah. terrible movies. That we'll get, you know, you and McGregor really flexing his 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 Obi Wan muscles in this. And there's even talk about Hayden Christensen coming back into this as well. Oh, that would be interesting. That'd He's be interesting, gonna, but I, oh, so obviously right. he must be putting his mask on and off and you know right. doing all that and kind of stuff as Darth Vader. Isn't he a construction worker now? Like construction guy, maybe Christian. I don't know. Said, hey, would... He got his money and he was like, "Yo, I can go do life because I don't need to be in this spotlight." But let me yeah. come back yeah. a little bit. But again, he would be good to see him. And the other rumor that I've heard circling around, and um, when I first heard it, I thought, oh, "That can't be right." But then you think, "Hang on, it could be right." Is uh, Samuel L. Jackson's coming back? Is oh, his role? Yeah. I heard about. I actually heard the Samuel L. Jackson one because he got um, thrown. We always saw was him get tossed away, and you know the rule of yeah. TV and movies these days: no dead body, no sure death. No, yes, but, yes. But the kicker, the kicker is, is, is always going to be because at some point Mace Windu has to be dead, or he's the biggest dick for like eighty years of doing nothing, just staying the hell away from everything. Because even though I can live with him coming back for Kenobi. I cannot live with the understanding that he was not a part of those three whenever Yoda, I guess you could say under Yoda, was in hiding. But then when it came to uh, nine through, uh, I mean, uh, uh, seven through nine, like what was his part? Unless they're going to be like, you know, that, I don't know. There's only so many black people in this this Jedi, in Star Wars universe. So uh, it, it, Maybe it's. Maybe he was hiding. Maybe it's what? It was yeah. hiding so far. But he's hiding for 80 years? For 80 years? <laughs> yeah. I see, I see what you're saying. It, he has, if he's going to turn up in this series, he's got to die in this series because. He's, he's got you know, to. Or else he's just missing an action for the, the next six episodes of the movies and all right. the TV and shows. He's, and, he's one unless of they turn guys. him into a Sith Lord. Or, or that, but still, then it goes back to like, what was he doing all this time? Like, Cause yeah, because he gets know, thrown, he like, gets thrown off the cliff, so to speak, right? And then he's probably got a bit of time to recover, and now is probably his time to to come back into it. Some good fan service there, and again, great to see Samuel L. Jackson's character really given some some really meaty work to do. Let's remind our friends to please click on the subscribe button. And hit that notification bell so you know when we have new videos out. Subscribe! 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 Subscribe. Oh, die.